This is the bigger video. I'm making this a great capping tool. Let's get into the show. There's the springs. I have a Yale large format IC core. I promised you guys I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna modify this Olympus lock into a capping tool. I have to drill some holes across the top of it here. It's going to accommodate Yale large format IC core and a cap, which they call spring cover. So this spring cover has got to go on top of the Yale large format IC core, but it needs to be pressed down. Olympus lock into a capping press wonder. Let's get right into the show. I don't want to lose any of this stuff inside there. Where am I going to put this? Hmm. We'll go ahead and put it right in the lock caddy. Yeah. So we'll just set it right here. So we don't want to drop any of those springs and this cover. We want to keep track of that. Now I'm going to use some fingernail polish. I'm going to put it on the bottom of these pins. Lab made this such a nice little jig, but I'm going to modify it. So let's go ahead, put some paint, any kind of paint. I'm using fingernail polish. It's simple to use. And then I'm going to transfer that fingernail polish into some locations on top of the Olympus lock. Yeah. So I'm going to just hold this right here. I already marked the front of it, the dead center. I'll try to do a good job here. Transfer these locations exactly where they need to be. Well, there we go. Exactly where I want to drill. Wow. Kind of cool. So that's how you do it. You can take some fingernail polish. Hmm. There it is. Fingernail polish. Look how quick that stuff dries. Wow. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and go over to my vise. And I don't have a drill press, so I'm going to hand drill these. First, I'll punch them and then I'll hand drill them, and everything should work out okay. Famous last words. Famous last words. We'll go ahead and get into the vise. I like this vise. I got it from Harbor Freight. Great place. And I got these jaws. They are nice, magnetic, fit right on there, and it shouldn't hurt that lock at all. Go ahead and clamp it in right here. Wow, it's cold in the shop tonight. Really cold. I like this little burner. Amazon to the rescue. All right, let's put this thing in the vise. I'm not quite sure how I want to do this though. I would kind of like to hold it, but if I crush it, I guess that is the best way. Right there. We'll go ahead and punch these. I want to get exactly in the center of them. Yeah. Boy, the wall on that is so thin. But that's good, I guess. There we are. A little out of square here. Maybe not. Hit that super thanks so I can keep making great videos. Yeah.
countersink these. Looks a little crooked. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I kind of wanted it to be. Get a little file on the inside there. We'll hit the countersink one more time. Little crooked. Well, that didn't line up too well, so I'm gonna countersink them bigger. This front one. This is such soft metal. We'll just make this one long one here. With some more drilling and a little sanding on the inside, I think I got it. It slides in and out pretty good. All it has to do is cover up these holes. It can even be slightly backwards here and still get that spring, that first spring right there. But I, I would like to try to cover it up all the way that's kind of how it's supposed to be. So it can't be past a little cutout here. So when I push this in, I want to have it so it's not past that cutout. Stay till the end and see a short video on another way of doing this. Might be another way. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. Too bad it doesn't just slide in there. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> oh, boy. What I would give for a drill press right now. Oh, boy. What I would give for a drill press right now. Friction Works Vice Jaws. They're magnetic. And they didn't hurt the outside of my lock. Isn't that nice? You can get them right from Amazon. You can even hit that QR code to get your cameras up there. There's the QR code. They're very nice. Friction works. The like button. Let's go see if it works. Let's go ahead and try this. This is made for small format IC cores. Lab IC Pro 150. This is the jig. And this is the press. Let's go ahead and stick it back together. I normally don't pull that cap off. You see this? I just stuck that in there. It went in nice and easy. It'll get better as I use it, I'm sure. First time, there's a couple of little burrs on it. And I'll push the cover up a little bit with the screwdriver, get it in the right spot. 
If you had a drill press, you can make it better yourself. Hold it in there and push down the press. Barely, I'm barely pushing down the press. And the reason I'm trying not to have the cylinder just here in the air is because when you push down, you can crush the backside of your very delicate housing. Let's see if I did crush the backside. Nope, works perfect. That's the spring cover they recommend you use. Stay till the end, you'll get to see another way of doing this. this thing. Yeah, there might be. Please tell your Stay. friends, guys. I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. Oh yeah, that works easy. I barely have to press on that. That's nice. If you want to cover up your springs on top of your large format Yale IC core, that's this brass cover, and you don't know how to do it, if you use your Lab IC Pro 150, stick the cover on top, stick your cylinder underneath, just like this, press the handle down, and it will cover up your Yale large format IC core in one push. Hardly even any effort. Please subscribe to my channel for more door and lock tips. Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun making it. A little <laughs> problems with it all, though. I hope you appreciate what I went through to do this. And I'll have more door and lock tips coming your way in the future. Thanks again.